Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a short video on biceps tendinosis or biceps tendinopathy. So the biceps tendon uh, often gets irritated near the distal attachment to the radius. So where it attaches to the forearm, right at the attachment, it can become irritated and it can cause localized pain. And this is not a bad diagnosis. And often it will heal itself if you let it. And so this is an example of just very, very mild biceps tendinosis or tendinopathy. And we use those terms interchanging and interchangeably. They just mean that the biceps is irritated or has micro tearing within it. A lot of different terms, tendinosis, tendinopathy, micro tearing. And so this is a side view to get oriented. The humerus is here. This is the front, the biceps and brachialis, those flexor uh, muscles of the front. And this is the very back here. This is where the triceps are. And we can see a muscle coming down here. This is called the brachialis. And this tendon here, the biceps muscle ends up higher here. It has a central tendon that's going to come down, 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 and attach way over on this bone. This is the radius. Okay, we have the humerus up top, radius down below. And the radius has a funny little bump here, the radial tuberosity. And the biceps will come down and attach on this. And this is called a sagittal image. Again, we can see the muscle, see this tendon. But here's the tendon right here, but it's not very well demonstrated on this view because of the slice selection, but it will attach here. So what we're going to do is take another sequence like from this direction. We're going to start above here. We're going to go down, 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 and see that biceps tendon from a different orientation. And this is called an axial image. So this is the axial image. Now this is the very front above the elbow joint, and here's the very back. This is part of the triceps tendon close to where it's attaching to that back, the olecranon process. So. In the very front here, we have this muscle. We have a much bigger muscle down here called the brachialis, but the smaller one up here is the biceps. It ends right about here, and when it ends, it turns into the tendon. So the, the muscle tapers, tapers, becomes the tendon, the biceps tendon. You can see it right here, and it's going to come down, down below the joint, pretty far below the joint, and it's going to attach on this bone right here, the radius. So it's going to come down, down. You can see how dark it is in uniform on this. As it approaches the attachment, it becomes a little bit more gray. So right in here, it should be darker, but instead it's a little bit gray. So that gray signal and, and the little puffy appearance of it is an indication of, again, micro-tearing or tendinopathy. And if you don't lay off it, this will become worse and may go on to a tear. It's retracted. And if you let it heal, it can go into heal on all the way. But this is, again, biceps tendinopathy. I'll look at one more sequence here. And again, the fat is now dark. The muscles are gray. The bones are dark. And we're going to find it. Here's that muscle ending. Here's the biceps tendon. We're going to follow it down. The biceps looks good right here, that little vertical band. And we're going to watch it become a little more puffy and a little bit brighter. So right in here, it's a little bit too bright. Very, very subtle findings, but a very mild biceps tendinosis. So thank you very much.